Next question. My name is Samir. I'm a student. I'd like to ask this question. You have put an uh, there is an upper limit in Islam for women for man to marry four wives. But why did the Prophet Muhammad have eleven wives? And if there is an insinuation that he was hypersexual. The brother asked the question that since Islam allows the maximum of four wives, how come Prophet Muhammad had eleven wives? I do agree with the brother that the Quran mentioned Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number three, that you can maximum have four wives. But there's another verse in Surah Azab, chapter number thirty-three, verse number fifty-two, which says that O Prophet, you cannot marry more women. Neither can you exchange any other woman for the present one, even if the beauty attracts you. Except what your right hand possesses. This verse of the Quran, Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 52, gives the permission to the Prophet to, to keep all his wives, but at the same time cannot marry any other woman except which your right hand possesses. If you analyze why Prophet Muhammad was not allowed to marry more wives, and besides that, he could not neither divorce them. Because there's one more verse in the Quran which says that as for the wife of the Prophet, whether they're divorced or whether they become widow, no person can marry them because they're Ummul Mu'mineen. They are the mother of the believers. So since no one could marry the wife of the Prophet, but naturally the Prophet could not divorce them also. And if you analyze that all the 11 marriages which the Prophet did, all were either for social reform or for political reasons, were not to please the sex. The first marriage that he did was with Bibi Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her. She was of the age of 40 when he was only 25. And she was a widow twice. Imagine, if he married for sex, why would he marry a woman who was 15 years older to him and who was a widow twice? And if we analyze, till the time Bibi Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her, till the time she was alive, Prophet Muhammad did not take any other wives. When he was the age of 50, Bibi Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her, she expired. Only between the age of 53 to 56 did Prophet take all the other wives. Imagine, if the Prophet was hypersexual, he would have married at a young age. Science tells us, the older the man gets, the less sexual he gets. It's an insinuation on the Prophet. Only two of his marriages were normal. That with Bibi Khatija and that with Bibi Aisha. May Allah be pleased with them both. All the other marriages were due to circumstances, either of a social reform or a political gain. If you analyze all, only two wives were below the age of 36. All the other wives were between the age of 36 and 50. You can give instances, each marriage had some reason. For example, Bibi Javariya, who was from the Banu Mustalik type, which was a very powerful tribe, and which was at long ends with Islam. After a certain time, they were suppressed by the Islamic army. And later on, the Prophet married her. And after he married her, the companion said, how can we keep as captives the relatives of the Prophet? And they freed those people. And after that, both these tribes became friendly. There are examples when he married Bibi Maimunna, may Allah be pleased with her, who was the sister of the wife of the chief of the tribe of Najat, which killed 70 Muslim men of the Islamic deputation. After Muhammad the peace be upon him, when he married her, they accepted Madina as the leadership and they accepted Prophet as the leader. All the, all the magic which he did had some political reason or social reform. He married Umm Habiba, who was the daughter of the chief of Mecca, Abu Sufyan. But naturally, this marriage played a great importance in the conquest of Mecca. Other example, like Bibi Safiya, may Allah be pleased with her. She was the daughter of a powerful Jewish leader 
After this, the Jewish became very friendly with the Muslims. If you see all the marriages, had some social reform. He married the daughter of Hazrat Umar, Hafsa, may Allah be pleased with her, to get closer relationship between the companions. As a social reform, he married a lady who was divorced, the first cousin Zainab. After she was divorced, he married her. All the marriages have some political reason or social reform. So all these marriages were based to improve the community and to better relationship. It was not for sex. Hope dances.